Well, hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the show. Okay, this is the new setup for now. Uh, I made an announcement last time. This show uh, is probably going to be a 20, 25-minute show for the Mothership for Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Um, the studio's are now located on 38th Street, and I've been producing from there for about uh, 34 years this summer. In front of we got renewed. But in the meantime, they're doing a lot of better testing, uh, testing new uh, equipment and stuff like that. So... Uh, for now, this is going to be the look. This is for my little New York City apartment. Um, and basically, I'm, I'm going to be doing a picture on picture. Uh, I'm on Instagram, SoundCloud, Pinterest, uh, and I forgot the other one. Oh, TikTok. TikTok, you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, Lego stuff that I'm putting up. SoundCloud will be an addition for the music uh, that I'm writing. Okay. And uh, as far as the, the main studio on 30th Street uh, with the green screen, um, hmm. We're still working on a couple of bugs there. I'm not too happy with it. Um, I find out that I'm going to need a crew. The old ways was just, you know, we had an engineer, he clicked the recording button, and there we go. Now, over here, I have to do a lot of things myself because in the studio, the engineer will cover a lot of things also with, uh, with uh, remote control and things like that. But anyway, so I'm going to be f flicking around. I got the, this uh, new Logitech C920 camera, and it has a little picture in picture. So... Uh, it makes things a lot easier, okay? Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple of shows like this here. Um, until I've, I'm almost done rewiring the, the biggest studio. Basically, I took the, <laughs> I took all the guts out of the living room. Uh, the love seat girlfriend was not happy about. I'm gone and a bunch of other stuff. And I'm putting up shows, and you're going to see a lot of, uh, a lot of props behind me. Um, and then... I'm going to have shelves. You're going to see Lego stuff. A lot of stuff that I've been uh, using for a long time for the shows. A lot of the props. They kind of retired. I've been pulling out of the boxes. Look what I found out of a box here. Uh, Tapestry Picard. It's still in the bag. I got this. What was this? This was given to me as a gift back in uh, 2006 as a promo. And I never got around to showing it on the show. So here it is because we ought to be talking about uh, Picard. Uh, the front logo and the, the credits and everything and the theme song, that's all going to change, okay? So kind of say goodbye to that. Uh, I mentioned in the last show, I did mention that I'm working with uh, AI programs. And there's a reason for that. That's going to be when the new show pops up, the new studio that I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be talking more about that. But, yes, I am going to be using um, Playground, Playground. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not in mid-journey. Eh, mid-journey, you have to pay for it. But there's uh, Logitech, there's uh, Playground, there's a bunch of other ones. I'll be going more detail. That's going to be a separate show together, okay? And you're going to be seeing a lot of that stuff in the revamping of the show. But for now, two or three shows are going to be like this here, okay? So let's get right into it. Avatar has been announced. This thing is coming on completely digital and instead of the old format. I'm going to be showing a couple of things. Uh, what I will be doing, it's going to come out on uh, the last Tuesday of March, my birthday. And as soon as I get up early in the morning, boom, download it. And um, I'm going to watch all three hours, and I will do a special presentation on YouTube. Right now, this is like the mothership for Manhattan Neighborhood Network. But this show goes on on, on a Saturday. Well, today is Saturday, but the show is always like two weeks, and I have to do a show a week ahead of time. You'll see when I put the... Um, Shazam up. That's already going to be old news because John Wick and Dungeons and Dragons are going to be coming out. And already this show is going to be a, uh, a week old because I have to do it a week ahead of time, which is a real pain. That's another thing. But anyway, but Avatar coming out the last Tuesday of March and I will have uh, a, a, my my review. It's about to be like a 15-20 minute review of the digital download with all the behind the scenes and three hours of stuff. But somebody was asking me, what happened to the the uncut, like, what happened to the, the, to the water tribe at the end of the movie? They kind of disappeared. Well, we don't know if they're going to be included or it's going to be mentioned, but one thing for a fact. We will see that uh, that the, that scene where the, a lot of people in the boat escape at the end and the tribe people attack them. That scene was completely cut out. It does exist, and it will be coming out on probably for the next year's uh, Christmas release. This is the three disc version. Let me just show you. I showed this before. Okay. Uh, let me go like this here. This came out on Blu-ray. And a year later, the three disc version. That had an extra uh, 16, 20, about, yeah, about 20 minutes uh, added. 
you find out that the guy in charge of the tribe, uh, he landed on the floor. He didn't die like when he fell off the helicopter. You guys know what I'm talking about. And uh, Jake finds him. Oh, Jake finds him and says, uh, "Listen, you're part of, you're part of the tribe now. You take over." And he dies, and Jake takes over. That scene was deleted. It gets included on this three disc special edition. I'm just flickering real quick. So we're gonna get that next year until we see the fire trap and uh, Avatar uh, number three. Um, people have been asking me. Uh, there's a nine hour version of number three. A lot of people don't realize that, that it costs uh, where did the word four hundred million. That includes Avatar 3. The people are not mentioning that because he filmed both uh, films back to back. Um, so um, I'll be talking more about that um, because I, I, I'm timing everything about five minutes each. Okay, yeah, so I ran overboard with this here. I'll be talking about, about it more when the digital release on March 28th comes out. I'm not saying my age. Uh, that's my birthday date. I'm going to review it. Nice birthday present. I'm going to review all three hours, everything behind the scenes, all that. And I'm going to do a special YouTube video on it. Okay. So when that movie comes out on digital on that Tuesday, make sure to go to YouTube on the Video Land Express channel. Next. Okay. Um, let me see. I don't have my glasses. Oh, shame on me. Shame on me. Is this the right one? No. Is that the right one? No. no. Let me see. Oh, just flip it. Bingo. Okay. Let me get out of the way here. Whee! Swing. Okay. I'm just having fun with this, folks. Anyway. Uh, Shazam. Bomb. I, the reason I'm doing this show at the last minute, because I saw it last night. I said, okay, I'll do the show Saturday, just before the 8 p.m. deadline. So, I, I liked it. Three out of five. Um, but wait for streaming. You're not missing anything. The problem with the movie is, you know, DC. James Gunn has said, that's over. Anything related to Justice League is over. Uh, and there's a big full part here. Guess who makes a cameo at the end? By Monday, this tip, uh, tipping on Saturday, uh, I'm going to be putting the show on YouTube by Monday. And then you guys at Eminem will see it the, uh, the, uh, the next Saturday. By Monday, the, the word is out already that Wonder Woman shows up at the end. Because supposedly he dies, he doesn't die, who knows. Um... Spoiler alert, uh, and she shaves, uh, saves the day at the end, okay? She, she does a cameo, but what's the sense? The word is already out. It's like, you're not using the, anybody from Justice League. You're going to revamp the whole thing with a younger Superman. So the ending makes no sense. It's the same thing like Black Adam. Superman shows up, Henry Cavill shows up at the end, and it's a total waste of time because but there's not going to be no challenge. There's going to be no fight because there's not going to be no, that, that timeline is completely erased. And it doesn't help that Ben Affleck in the news uh, they asked him to do something for with the DC uh, brand and uh, maybe a Batman or direct something. And Affleck said, no way. You guys, apparently, you guys don't know what you're doing. So he's out of the picture. So that basically kills the whole thing. Nobody's going to see this movie because it has nothing to do with the timeline. You know, it's the same thing like Wonder Woman. Remember? You killed her off and then you come out with a movie about her? you know with her character it makes no sense so that's what's killing the box office it's not a bad movie it's not as strong as the first one i said it was cute my ratings is like this very simple one to five so now i want to see it in cinema or wait for streaming three out of five wait for streaming but it's a fun it's it's, it's a fun time it's like i like black adam it was entertaining nothing original about it but and this here oh because there was one review and they said, uh, you know, the, the kids are in the front to save uh, people on, on a bridge. And then all of a sudden, they disappear for the rest of the movie. Are we seeing the same movie? Are you seeing these movies? Some, some of these critics, I don't know. The kids are throughout the whole movie trying to save the day along with Sh uh, Shazam. Uh, the girl from West Side Story, that cutie pie, she's there. Helen uh, Mirren uh, actually does a great job with the movie. And Lucy Liu just walks around pissed off. Uh, I work with uh, Lucy Liu on Elementary. I'm not going to get into it. You know, you know, you guys know I do a background work. I worked in the show two, uh, two days. I got two funny stories to say. But one particular day, it was her birthday, Lucy Lou's birthday. They brought a nice cake. We did a scene, and then the room was over here. The stage was over here. Okay, I'm kind of like, if you can imagine this. Then it's a long hallway, and then the the, the cast and uh, on the show had a, a special room with trailer over there. We had trailers over here for us. Well, a, a room for us where we can eat and stuff like that. So, but along that hallway was, uh, you can see the birthday cake that they have for a nice big one. Happy birthday, Lucy, and everything there. But the producer was so nice, they had extra cake 
another little cake made uh, for us, for us background actors. And it was like in the corner there. I said, guys, it's Lucy Lou's birthday. I know you guys are going to wish her a happy birthday. Here's a cake. She insisted that you guys share the festivities. There was balloons and cake and stuff like that. It was really, really nice. And uh, they weren't cheap with, um, with the grub, I'll tell you that. But that's another joke. Anyway, um, she was good in it. They did some kind of miracle CG because you ever met Lucy Lou in first? She is freckled to death. Jesus, you take a magic marker and connect the dots, she, her whole face be erased. <laughs> she's heavily freckled in real life, folks. So they did some magic there with uh, with all those. But she's a cutie pie and she's a really, really sweet woman. I can't believe she had on a, uh, you know, that, that, that fallout with Bill Murray. What was that about? Now I met Lucy Lou, she was a sweetheart. So next. But three to five is not a bad picture. What I like about it, a little bit Harry Hughes to uh, uh, they got the dragon there, but you got all the cyclops and minotaurs and all these little creatures that come out and attack the people. Really nice. Uh, I liked it. Would I see it again with commentary on a disc or one of the streaming channels? I would see it again. If I go to a friend's house, I would see it again. Not much I can say that about other movies. Okay, Creed. So at once, no thank you. Keep the commentary, keep everything. And I, I wouldn't see it again. It was okay, three out of five once, but eh, keep it. Okay, next. Um, let's talk about a hit. Yes, Picard, they, they got away with it. Um, I can't play the trailer, I was told. Um, but this guy is still an asshole. <laughs> this is the new captain. His name is Shaw. He is in charge of uh, the, the USS Titan. And then, of course, he gets hurt and um, Riker takes over. Um, I'm hoping to, to finalize this show in a new studio because I'm going to be playing some theme music. Okay? Uh, and I got some Star Trek props that I found in, in a box, an old beat-up Enterprise about this big plastic model. That, that was a hobby of mine when I was young, and I'm, still, I'm getting back into it. But that's for the next show. Anyway. These are things that are coming, you know. I guess these shows are being planned that for you guys. Um, but the, the, they really hit it on the nose with Picard. The first two seasons were horrible. Now, I got the, the Blu-rays from, no, excuse me, they don't have Blu-rays. They had the DVD edition out from the library. Took it out, rented it, looked at the special features just to see how they screwed up, and I brought it right back. I do not own it. Lower Decks. I plan to buy them on Blu-ray if they come out with a, a like three-pack edition. Um, because I'm waiting for the third season to be released on, on Blu-ray. And then we'll collect them all. And uh, the second season has uh, the voice of Jonathan Frakes, who's uh, directing a couple of these episodes. The last episode, number four, he directed it. Number four kind of ends sort of a, a, like a chapter one. Um, Jeremy Dean Page, I think. Yeah, oh, this is Jeremy Dean Page. No, 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 no. I'm going to uh, Geraldine Page. No, that's a different actress. Um, I think she's the one with the uh, audition for Voyager. No, 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 no. Geraldine Chaplin, I think. Okay, I got that screwed up. But anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, oh, Christopher Plummer. That's it. Uh, Ger uh, I forgot her name. But anyway, uh, she's, the, uh, she's the daughter of uh, Christopher Plummer. Undiscovered Country, The Dogs of War. You got to start in the sound of music with Julie Andrews. That Christopher Plummer. Amanda Plummer. Okay. The end of the, the, uh, uh, the Titan beats up her ship and the fate, but they're going to come back in episode seven, I believe. And um, we finally got uh, introduced to Wolf with um, Captain and Admiral Picard and. Um, Going blank here. Okay, I'm trying to remember all these names. Uh, right, of course. Okay. Now we still got four. Uh, well, they, uh, uh, um, Amanda Plummer's going to come back on uh, her villain. Um, Maura Doherty um, from the holodeck. I think he was in uh, season five or seven. And uh, he's going to come a, a cameo. Be warned, though. He said he showed up for one day. Same thing with Whoopi Goldberg. They show up one day, they get the costumes fitted on, and they come back the next day and they do their scenes. Okay? He said he only spent one day on that holodeck filming his scenes. So it's going to be short. Remember, he was really like, really uh, uh, showing off in the trailer. Not much there, let me tell you. Um, but, and then we're going to have Forge finally showing up. Now, um, 
Counselor Troy only made a cameo in uh, the end of uh, episode four. I don't know what's up with that. Is she going to come back or what? But so we still, still got five more episodes to get the whole crew back together. And of course, I think the, the final recap is going to be um, B4, Remember Nemesis? Uh, Data was actually uh, renamed B4 at the end, but Data sacrificed his uh, name. He sacrificed himself at the end of Nemesis, but they, they saved the chip and he comes back as a B4. And on the commentaries, um, well, they've been doing a lot of um, comic cons and everything like that. Talking about the show, promoting it. They were, uh, the cast was even on the View, and um, they they mentioned that they're going to try to get everybody together for the final big episode. But uh, Data is going to come back as we don't know as his um, lore or a combination of before. Um, that's going to be this. You know, honestly, so far so good. I love all five episodes. They're doing a great job. Uh, and especially with the whole spin and the changeling introducing they're going to address nemesis with uh, before and they already address uh, the s9 um with the changeling okay and the auto house the uh, auto auto was it? yeah auto from ds9 anyway um because apparently they they get so the rumor is they're going to have a spin-off on this uh in one form or another to continue hopefully it will lead to something like this a continuation of ds9 of some um because they did mention uh, they wanted to go to DS8 or DS10, one of the deep space stations. And they, that was mentioned in episode number two. They're doing a great job on this. I got no complaints. Season one and two suck. Q and Picard giving each other hugs. The fuck was that about? Then, okay, next. Let me see. Hopefully I don't go blank here. Okay. This mess. Okay. No, no trailer. No, 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 not allowed, not allowed, not allowed, not allowed. Thank you. Okay. I don't want to get a red flag on uh, YouTube. But anyway, ratings are way off. The last episode wasn't even Mandalorian. Uh, they go back to the planet Coruscant. The professor with the glasses from the first season who's manipulating clones and all this stuff. We visit him and they spend the whole episode with him. Now, it does start with a great a fight where... Um, uh, Amanda and Bokaitan, they have a uh, brick uh, opener. Uh, the opening was almost like eight minutes before Mandalorian title came out. Then the show, and then Mandalorian shows up at the end, saying, yes, I'm, I did the water thing, I'm good. Um, so we see the nightlife of Co- uh, Coruscant. That's nice. They, they spent uh, like 40 minutes on it. Why? It wasn't necessary. It's like Boba Fett and all of a sudden there's sick Mandalorian there everywhere. All of a sudden uh, Mandalorian became 2.0, okay? But anyway, um, the ratings are really, really uh, are tanking on this one. They love 2 million subscribers and they figure they can get them back with this show and it's not happening. They're not pulling them back in, okay? Um, but let me show you something. Okay, the child, yeah. Um, Funko Pop announced that they're going to get rid of 30 million Funko Pops. They're going to destroy them. They're going to, they're going to melt them down and do something. Because the company lost a lot of money. They're coming out with way too many Marvel and DC uh, figures. But it did affect the Mandalorian, the, the, the sales figures. You can get a combination. Uh, let me see. There's a Mandalorian here that's in red. Amazon for $5. You can get Baby Yoda. I don't say Google. Baby Yoda holding a cookie, the blue cookie, you can get that for five bucks on Amazon. They got a bunch of discounts. They, they made too many uh, uh, Baby Yodas and they're not selling. And now you can get them and, uh, cheap. This is the middle of March 2023. Amazon right now has it on sale for $5, different combinations of Baby Yoda and Mandalorians. Look it up. Okay. Uh, so it's affecting everything. Uh, you know, the, the merchandise not selling. People just got tired again. All my friends are like, again with the Baby Yoda? Would they would they cut that out? I like Baby Yoda. That actually, believe it or not, that, that makes up the show because they screwed up the whole timeline like, like they did with Boba Fett. Boba Fett was supposed to be hanging out with the other bounty hunters. And he's got kids on motorcycles. That's, uh, and they're actually going to come out with part two with that. Now, let me, I'm just looking at my timing here. Okay, I got five minutes left for SS. Real quick. Okay. I didn't talk about much about um, 
Oh, come on. The Oscars. Now, if somebody told me this picture, this will get best picture of the year. <laughs> Hot dog fingers. It did. Real quick on the Oscars, okay? Um, I did say whoever went on the Globes will get the Oscars. That changed. Fable Man's Spielberg out. This got everything. Any, any complaints? No. Perfect. It got like seven, eight awards, and it got all the top major five. Best picture, best director, best actor. Uh, Michelle Yeoh, the only Bond girl. The only James Bond girl. Not only nominated, but to win an Oscar. I know Anna Diamas, they get uh, 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 nominated for, for Blonde, awful picture. Uh, I don't know how she got nominated. She wasn't bad, but that's not... Um, not a best, um, picture. Um, yes, she played a Bond girl in that last awful picture, No Time to Die, but that was a cameo. She was only in it for 10 minutes. I'm talking of a Bond girl called story with James Bond. That's Michelle Yeoh. So James, Michelle Yeoh goes down history as the first Asian and the first Bond girl to get an Academy Award. Good for her. Um, Short Round. Come on. I'm not going to say the name. We grew up, we all grew up with Short Round. I've been doing the show for 30 years. I remember seeing Temple of, of Doom. Uh, Showed Ron got it. Good for him. And that little brace, uh, that little hug with him and Harrison Ford. That's a, what a way to end the night. Oh, my Indian picture, Naku Naku, won for best song. Um, but the other surprise was, that's right, Jimmy Lee Curtis got it. Everybody thought that Angela Bassett got it. I was not going to show it out of respect, but she did a movie with Jane Spader called um, what was it? Uh, oh, it's a really bad movie. Supernova. Three different directors had to finish that film, and they couldn't. That's how bad it was. Um, yeah, it's, it's they they find an, an alien on a planet and put it on a ship, and it starts killing everybody. Uh, I'll talk about that next time. Angela uh, Bass said she'd be lucky. She get paid. She gets paid four hundred fifty thousand dollars per episode for nine eleven. That rescue cop and fireman rescue show. Almost a half a million dollars per episode. So I think she's doing okay. She shouldn't cry. She got nominated, okay? Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. But I found all the nominations. But one thing, um, like I said, the rules have changed, you know? The, the Oscars were really smart this time, giving it to the right people. Now, what I'm showing you is, this is Hollywood Reporter. One of the top guns on the magazine gave predictions, and look what he said. Uh, will win Aston for Best Director. Uh, for Elvis. And who should win? Colin Farrell. Boy, was he wrong on both counts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I finally saw Brendan Fraser. He deserved the award. Sitting in that one spot for two hours giving speech after heavy monologue after speech. I wouldn't be surprised if this comes out on Broadway as a one-man solo show. Yeah, so he had a little cast of um, helping him in, but he was sitting there. But I got no problem I said this before to my friends. If Aston Butler wins for Elvis, he deserves it. the picture. Sucked. Uh, they got a lot of facts wrong, but he was fantastic. You know, he should be proud of this performance. But Brendan Fraser wins. My only thing I got left here to say. Um, okay. Oscars. Five directors, five pictures. That's it. The second worst picture of the year. Triangle of Sadness. Um, Woody Harrison, that's the captain. God awful picture, a total zero from one to five, a zero. I'm not even gonna put a picture of anything or promote it. How that got nominated, it's beyond me. Total crap. And because of that, like Tar, she was good. Cat Blanche was good. She already had two Oscars. She won for best actress and best supporting. That's enough. I'm glad that. Michelle, you all got it. At least the Oscar was smart about that. Yo, hun, you already got two Oscars. Be satisfied. Uh, but Tar was not a great picture. Okay? She was fantastic, but she was not a great picture. Um, I would talk, I'll talk more about Kate Blank because she was in Indiana Jones and uh, the Crystal Crap. Yeah. Uh, where she played a German, uh, a Russian soldier, which mentioned that she's part of different part of Russia. She mentioned she's from Ukraine. I'll be talking more about a little bit of history of that because at that time, Ukraine was part of Russia. 
when Indiana Jones comes out, we'll talk about it. But that's going to be a great trash for us. Uh, I think I'm going to have one show just dedicated to that, the whole Indy, Indy 5 uh, franchise. Um, because that's going to be the biggest bomb of the year. We all heard that KK is leaving. Adios. Because nobody wants so. Well, that's another politic, politic, uh, political topic for another show. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you, everybody. Um, the next couple of shows, I'm going to be do, doing... 10 minute f a fragment. So in between these shows on Eminem, go to YouTube. I'm going to start premiering all these little things I've been talking about finally. And April is going to be a brand new season uh, on Eminem and for YouTube. Uh, all new graphics, new, new song title, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, again, if you go to YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. It, it helps a lot. Appreciate it. Um, don't forget, I'm nonprofit. Okay. So I need the numbers. Numbers will help a lot if you subscribe and like. Uh, I'm, I don't make no money out of this. This is off my resume, uh, which has worked already because I do background work now. But uh, I need to keep these shows going uh, because the, the contract is I, uh, I use the studios at m and If nonprofit, that means I don't pay, but I got to come up with the goods, with content, to keep using the studios, to keep using uh, the facilities, and to keep the show running. So it will help a lot. Again, for the resume, no money, no. Everybody else needs the money. Yeah, so could I. But <laughs> right now, I'm nonprofit, so I'm doing this again for my resume. So I, I really could use the numbers, and I really appreciate it. And if you come this far seeing me, yak, I try to remember names a little bit better. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming to the end of the show, and uh, I'll see you next time around. And for those who've been watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. Be safe, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye. Is that off button?